Nasuni. Demo Video Snack Bar. Bet you can't watch just one. Hi, this is Matt Steck, Solutions Architect with Nasuni. In today's video, we're going to talk about enabling Nasuni's web access functionality. Uh, with all the users in today's uh, climate, you know, working from home, web access is potentially a great fit for those users that don't want to connect to the um, VPN to get access to their files. They just want to grab a file, um, you know, either for, for read or whatnot. Enabling this feature can be found at the share level. So by going under the shares, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick my share here. You'll see as you scroll down, one of the options is for web access. By checking this box, you are basically turning on the web access functionality, um, basically turning the edge appliance into a web server as well. So one of the big recommendations I generally make is to pick a primary box um, when you enable web access on that, whether it be for one share or multiple shares, however many you choose to um, share out through the, through the web portal, um, it's probably best to keep those consistent. You don't have to enable it on every single box. Many customers will choose to run this, this box in the cloud to help reduce you know, dependency on the local bandwidth of the data center. One of the other big features of web access is the concept of shared links. So as you see, once you, uh, you know, check the box for web access, you see this box pops up. Um, inside here, it's gonna ask, do you want to allow shared links, which is basically content that is externally shareable um, to users that are outside of your domain. So a few of the options you have to enable here are, do I want to enable an external host name so it kind of presents and maps differently to external users as it would to internal. These share of links, how long do I want these links to actually be able to last or more specifically, the longest period that a user could create a link for. Do I want to require a password for this link? Do I want this link to be read writable, meaning that users can upload content? And then also, um, you know, to specify which Active Directory group or users have the ability to create these links. Um, again, with web access, one of the big things is you'll still have to go through and enable all of the networking, right? An external DNS, um, you know, open up the firewall. So again, this is why we'd recommend either, you know, maybe having a dedicated box for web access in the cloud or in, um, you know, in your DMZ, however you choose to present this, um, but a very nice feature for those users working remote. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your uh, account team um, or support, and they can definitely help you uh, get this going. Thank you. Nasuni. Good, right?